So today we're going down to town. Uh, I want to go to the plaza because in the plaza there's these palm trees that have a bunch of baby palm trees that the seeds have fallen from above and uh, they, they, uh, they made little baby trees. And so there's hundreds of them. And so we're going to go down, we're going to get these baby trees, we're going to put them in some water, bring them back up here and put them in some dirt. And then uh, there could be hundreds and hundreds of palm trees up here, uh, basically for free. Of course, we could do this from seed, and we have done it from seed. But uh, these particular palms are already at least a year old, and they've already germinated. So we'll have a higher success rate. Yay, very exciting. All right, so we're going down here with the team here. We got me, we got Chilino, we got Alicia over there. <laughs> salute. If someone sneezes, you have to say salute. It's the law. And then you're supposed to say gracias, no? Gracias. Ah, sí. Soy más mexicano que ella. Wow, mira este. Some kind of a falcon or an eagle. That's cool. Better watch the road here. Now I will point out that we got permission to collect these little seedlings before we went down to the plaza and did it. I guard my local reputation very carefully in my relationship with the town. So I went and talked to the guy who's in charge of uh, these particular trees and he was fine with it. He thought it was a great idea. Also, if this succeeds and they mature, my plan is to bring some of the seeds back down to town and uh, perhaps plant them with permission down by the docks, which would look really pretty with a bunch of palm trees. So here are the palms we got. Didn't take that long to harvest them. And we only harvested off of one tree. There's still another tree that is filled with palms as well, but they were higher up. So we're gonna experiment with these and we can always go back and get more later. We figure that uh, this is a palm here. This has the roots and stuff. This has probably at least a year of life in it already. We have grown them from seed, so that's another option. But it's nice to see that these are already surviving. We're going to keep these nice and humid. We put water in the buckets for the moment. And then we're going to move them today into other buckets. We can put like uh, 50 in a huge bucket or maybe 10 or 15 in a, in a regular sized bucket like this. And then we'll wait till June. And in June we're going to experiment with putting them directly in the ground and seeing if they can survive until the next year through the dry season. If they can, then we'll put them all in the ground. If they can't, then we'll wait a while and we'll baby them for a few years until they're bigger. So, uh, the estimate on how many trees we got, I was hoping to get 200. We estimated on the way back to maybe we got 500. This is Chilino, uh, the expert on the plants. He estimates we got about 800. Now he knows best because he's putting them in the buckets. Uh, in the buckets, there's a variety of mixtures of dirt. We have um, dirt from the composting toilets. We have uh, Tira Dancino. We have uh, dirt regular. So uh, the cool thing is that these are going to do really well. Over there, we have some uh, palms that we grew from seed from the same trees. Now those have two years, and they're bigger than these. So all of these palms are probably just one year old because the theory is that they die on the tree each year. And uh, that seems like it's the case because they were dying on the tree in the lower parts. And so we're really saving trees. We're, we're making trees where there would have just been nothing. Uh, they would have just died. So that's really cool. And if we get good at this, then that means we can go back again because there's a couple other palms there that have some, some seeds on them. And 
and we can uh, just basically get trees almost for free. It's not quite for free. The thing is that this is a, a patient process. We have to be very patient uh, and, and, and let these things grow for years uh, and see what happens. Look at that little guy, a little baby tree. Mm. Yar. And uh, so yeah, very soon the bosque will have many palm trees. Now, you might ask, well, what's the point? You know, uh, these are not palm trees that produce coconuts. That's a different kind. Uh, but each tree, each plant that exists here uh, allows a greater biodiversity. It allows more pollinizers to survive. Uh, so more bees and bats and insects. And uh, we can figure out purposes for the wood, the fiber, and things like that. So it's all about biodiversity. And uh, we don't always know what the goal is. But we know what the process is to get to better places and stop hopefully being the types of humans that destroy everything around them. Uh, we can change how we are, we can plant more things and uh, see what happens next. See? Okay. See? Okay. See. 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 She agrees. Doesn't even know what I'm saying, but that's okay. So when we do something like that, collecting these palms, it's a pretty amazing investment. You figure we spent a half a day doing that and then we will have to spend some energy on watering them and putting them in buckets and everything. But let's say that each one of those had a value of a buck or something. And we figure we've got at least 500. So that's $500 worth of trees we got for free just by asking for permission from town. That's pretty cool. And if that's 500 trees, then in the bosque, let's say 80% of them survive, right? Then pretty soon, we have all these exotic looking, really cool palms all over the forest. And of course, those are going to produce seeds. We can use those to make more, and then we can potentially sell that plant. That's not really the goal for now, but uh, it's really cool to collect more plants. And I suggest that in your own life, as you look around you, you'd be thinking about seeds and, and what trees and what opportunities you have to create life. Because, of course, most of what we do in our lives uh, is destroying the environment, is destroying trees. And so if, if, if at least some of us can be thinking about how to, to restore that uh, environment, how to plant more trees, then we'll have plenty. And a nice green future. <laughs>